voices of resentment writhing in pain ring out across the earth. The groans of the masses serve to support the wealthy life of a single individual. That is the way of the world. I recognize that fact and never stray from the proper path. No matter what may happen, I need not save anyone, you see? I am wealthy, with money at my disposal, but I offer no aid. Can you understand why? No, why? <laughs> the answer lies here. It's the best part. Ow! <laughs> hey, what the hell? <laughs> Can't you see? It's right here. Right in front of us. Uh, cut it out! <laughs> you do see it, don't you? Even though he's in pain with his broken legs, I feel none of it. And you don't feel his pain either, Kaiji. <laughs> this is it, boy. This is the only truth. We're fine. It doesn't matter how much other people suffer. The only thing that matters is your own happiness. It's that simple. Ultimately, this man will desire more suffering. Do it. Hmm. Here. Money. My money. Uh. <laughs> they were told that if I provide them with such a service, they would get a bonus. Understand? For just that paltry sum of money, people can endure quite a lot after all. The rich make use of that fact to live comfortably, to be waited upon. A king cannot remain king all on his own. If the poor discovered that, they would need no money and would unite and rebel. Then the king will be vanquished. But the poor cannot help but to pursue becoming king. Which, of course, only further strengthens the position of the king. They simply cannot escape this fruitless paradox. So long as they want money, the king has the power and they stay slaves. The king must prevent revolt, giving his citizens an illusory sense of abundance and token wealth, but continuing to use them for his own ends. Jeez.